I come to the we learn about the entry abdominal wall muscles. Uh, there are three muscles in the entry wall. First muscle, the external oblique. The external oblique muscle faces down and towards the middle. Uh, we reflect the uh, external oblique and we can see the internal oblique. The internal oblique muscle is, is upward and like, like the direction of my hand. And the last muscle is transversus abdominis. Transversus abdominis, the direction of the muscle is transverse. Uh, to transverse towards the middle. Right? Finish uh, knowing the muscles, let, uh, let's know about the action of these three muscles. These three muscles do uh, three common ac uh, action that is flexes the trunk and laterally bends the trunk. <laughs> Alright, uh, and uh, the innovation of these muscles are also the same. Uh, lower six uh, intercostals, lower six intercostal nerve, uh, subcostal nerve, iliohypogastric, and ilioinguinal nerve. Alright, finish about the three anterior abdominal muscles. Go! Alright, and now we move on to the rectus abdominis. Uh, in the front here, this muscle is the external oblique, the internal oblique, and the transverse abdominis here. So, uh, the one muscle down, long like this, this is called the rectus abdominis. The rectus abdominis, uh, first we gotta know what is its action. The action is the same, it flexes the trunk, and it, but it doesn't uh, laterally bends the trunk. It increases the intra-abdominal pressure of the body. Uh, the innovation of this uh, muscle is only two. Uh, the, the two first um, innovation of this, uh, the three muscles in the front, that is lower, intercost, lower six intercostal nerve and subcostal nerve. Okay, now we move on to the rectus, uh, rectus sheath. The rectus sheath is a fibrous envelope that uh, surrounds the rectus abdominis muscles. It is formed by the aponeurosis of the anterior abdominal wall muscles. So if, if we leave the skin here, here's the anterior wall of the rectus sheath and this is the posterior wall of the rectus sheath. In the middle here, this is the rectus abdominis. Uh, the rectus abdominis is formed uh, by uh, by the internal oblique muscle. The internal oblique muscles, when it, when it meets the rectus sheath, the rectus muscle is split into two, anterior and posterior. The anterior part will fuse with the uh, sheath, with, with, will fuse with the aponeurosis of the uh, external oblique to form the anterior wall of the rectus abdominis. If, uh, w uh, about the posterior wall of the rectus sheath is by the splitting of the aponeurosis of the internal oblique with the aponeurosis of transverse abdominis. So it forms the posterior wall of the rectus sheath. The contents of the rectus sheath are two, two, two. Two muscles, two vessels and two group of nerves. The two muscles are one, the rectus abdominis and one uh, pyramidalis muscle down here. It's not present in the specimen. Uh, the two vessels are from above the superior epigastric and from in, uh, low, lower uh, inferior epigastric. The superior epigastric comes from the internal memory artery and the lower epigastric comes from the uh, external iliac artery. And the last, uh, the last two contents are two, two group of nerves. Uh, the first group of nerves are the, uh, the lower five intercostal nerves and the subcostal nerve. That's all. Nerve. And this is ilio hypogastric nerve, with the uh, ilio inguinal. And this is uh, this is the teratoneus. Uh, and then this is femoral nerve, which is PS soas major. This one genital femoral nerve. And this obturator nerve. And this one, uh, number 6 right now, as you can see, 